It is estimated that over 20 million people speak a Finno-Ugric language. Among these are the Maoris. The Maoris are divided into three ethnographic groups, the Eastern, the Meadow and the Hill Maoris. The biggest population of Eastern Maoris is located along the Belaya River, which is located in the northern part of Bashkortostan. Meadow and Hill Maoris live in the Republic of Mari El. Ancestors of the Finno-Ugric people lived in Eastern Europe and the Urals from the late Stone Age, occupying territories from the Baltic Sea to Western Siberia. Beekeeping in Bashkiria is an ancient trade of the native Mari population. It has deep roots and traditions spanning over a thousand years. Eastern Maris adopted the methods of the Bashkirs and began to work with the Bashkirs on beekeeping. Bashkiriste <laughs> The honey of Bashkiria has been considered a symbol of the Bashkiria Republic since ancient times. According to Mari traditions, a host offering his mead has to sip the cup first. Only then will he give the drink to his guests. In local Mari sepulchres over 1500 years old, full wild hive beekeeper equipment has been identified. In the village of Mishkan stands the Museum of National Culture, opened over 18 years ago. Exhibits in the museum include exhibits about the ancient activities of the Maris, including beekeeping, hunting, fishing, agriculture and other folk trades. Amongst the exhibits are exhibits of the folk costumes worn by the Eastern Maris, including women's ornaments worn by the ancient Maris. According to Svetlana Salieva, director of the Museum of History and Local Law, these ornaments rank second to none in their uniqueness around the world. А варен шогат, вот тиде айвлат, тиде кюрзе, тиде курукоч памаш, уял, арсаял, материал. Чела тиде яллагачен туда пешшуко материалам поген. Музей кюлешак лен. Шкат паледа менан мишкан районышта, ик шамла процент мари калакила. Вот тошты мари вургин влак, тебе ожнос, конечно, тогда на тебе витлем шикутлем ши илаш тейши чиенет. Но тогда же ожно рак. Ожно сырак вургем тебе ош ваньер ден урбалта же ушалтан нолтен кумо ваньер дене дайше тагай 
магазин гыч налны материалы. Кызытат яллашты, даже селашты, шке бургемжым кудалтын огыл. Кызытат нуна шке бургем дене, мари бургем ден коштыт. The inhabitants of the village of Odzerka welcomed us with hospitality and warmth. Every summer in the village one can find the Mari painter Svetlana Shamayeva. Her creative folk artwork is devoted to the interpretation of village life in Odzerka. Village life in Odzerka revolves around Mari folklore, folk beliefs, rituals and Mari calendar holidays. Local residents are often the first to view Shamayeva's work. The first mention of beekeeping in Bashkiria occurred in the 17th century, when evidence of beekeeping was found in local land rights documents. In these documents, beekeepers owned hives full of wild bees. Every owner placed a symbolic family sign on his hive. At the time, beekeepers hung the hive on trees, typically at a height of six to eight meters above the ground. The beekeepers also used different tools to look after the bees and their honey piles. 
Hives were specifically designed to allow a beekeeper to easily blow two or three puffs of smoke into the hive just before checking on the bees and honey. Each land's history is unique in its geography, history and nature. How the land flourishes and what makes it unique is another story altogether. Idziliai Bukharov, a former teacher in the village of Kishma, talks about the Maris who occupy the banks of the Belaya River. Even today, one can witness the Mari people attending sacrificial or prayer groves. Ceremonies were divided into family ancestral, village and all Mari prayer ceremonies. All-inclusive Mari ceremonies are carried out once a year and strengthen national pride and a united Mari nation. Village elders in every single Mari village are held in respect by its residents and preserve pagan continuity from generation to generation. <laughs> In the village of Ishimovo, one can find an old woman who goes by the name of Marzuk Kokai. She is known for her unique healing abilities. According to Mari traditions, a witch doctor is the keeper of the ancient healing secrets, which are passed on only by word of mouth from generation to generation. These Māori witch doctors are instrumental in helping the residents of their village with many of life's illnesses and problems. Malande 
Gut korpas mai kümüz es pasten gudim sarabotus emoden sarabotus tempotsunak gut azamas tagoes osten de tagatoide gut to sarengan azamas tenan zoger suram tukulada ala usam pasta bot tukulada tenuze tudo osko mo esta ala golan pochotiet varasasam tudo poches matala sarendak mutkutun die sarmedinget de tagelia birim bastet suram pas tukul mo suram gut to sades pochat barato dum namen diktet se voltar voltes em bet se de betage Diktas kilo skudom. Sura kuze baske gina pochalka, eto ge pochalka je buto. Asa šta šta ge mandi go sin ta ge Honey in Bashkiria is known for its unique medicinal characteristics and taste. Beekeeping in this region has evolved from wild hive beekeeping to the full-scale industrial collection of honey. Nowadays, beekeeping can be considered a rather refined process. Local climate and environmental conditions aid the beekeeper in producing fine honey. Additionally, there are schools for training highly skilled personnel and enterprises producing unrefined beeswax and tools for beekeeping. Honey specialists point to the heightened content of pollen from many kinds of plants in the local honey. This produces a unique aroma, taste and color. These attributes help to produce high quality honey. Others simply collect honey from the wild, which also flourishes in this area. A Murray embroideress demonstrates a craft which requires much time and effort. As described by Natasha Lebedeva from the village of Kurayevo, in order to create folk costumes for the local population, one must create patterns of flowers and sew them to the appropriate part of the national dress. <laughs> These same patterns are also used for decorations on other clothes, napkins, table linen and other arts and crafts. Тоді у зурлакам штилташ юдрим нефтикам скрочен дилташ юдрим дичен туриманам. А ік маняр ікачен ну тукі на то маланду у жунам тунуктен у жунам ну то клішлі ногол. А вашим я вишла скусну менге нефтикам скачен лента лакам штин у дяш синдем лі туду лакам. А вараш жам салфет лакам шташ тунялем. Тунам тюрлі на то штин омол у вина то штин омол. И дебе именно тогда Шташла Мари Тувурушко Урбалтыш и Дремешла Клан Килшаш и Зин Изин Тутлак заказала Штунелеш. Вот там ведь он такила Шташ Тунелем. Он дает пичку ты каламат тогда и пеш унай чучу. Красота, тюрлю-тюрлю посмачли, тюрлю узор дене, манам пешатым шташ. Мешканы шташи палме, юдеремышта, ардаша шташта еще палме. Куштуша ансамбльдан шампар костюмом, танцевальный костюмом ртушам. Нала шерге. И сам ты не ошки в бедине ургаш ты не алим марла ту бурлакам, а вам дичо да нам ки кузи урга он дина, ки каждый женский куда же мом кузи урген, ну тут ты тупи че на кто не манам урвал там лудобер манат, тудом а вам дичо да, а вам не лик манер был морстин, то же то гешти, то же то гешти ман кюштин, ку нам ты не алим еще мы он пали или мугай именно мом морстин, по изин изин Тогда мы что-то там туда не стерся, тогда килша уки кузеш та что и пошелем и мом ужам и техникам тебе тогда методикам даже молоку на на цвету, кюлен кюлеш даже что-то там. 
что-то. Ну что, Вадим, можешь мы что-то ну? As one of the most ancient and beautiful traditions of the Māori people, a wedding ceremony celebrates the birth of a family union. According to Eastern Māori tradition, the bride of the groom must live with her godparents a week before the wedding. During this time, the bride's relatives will prepare her for the ceremony. The bride will dress in an all-white national wedding dress. During this same week, the bride's godparents will prepare her dowry. Мы джунума шти мимнан бил сюен шкинжен уртим жем аралин годин ман шоним уси как вот тади первый юдур сюресем маш кечен актуниале шти бе юдурим сюресе тага уш сугаяк бара сюен кечен палим дат утолазен деби босноном сюенем штатен де унчат тадажем атунчат талазем бара сюен кечен палим да меки родушо чувла ком погумаш Immediately before the wedding, the bride and her friends are sent to a party at the House of Culture. Young people from around the village will come to the cultural house to wish the bride happiness in her marriage. Once the wedding begins, it will last two days. The host will serve pancakes and butter. A silver cone is placed on top of the butter as a symbol of wealth and youth. According to Māori traditions, the pancake in ancient times was a symbol of the sun. Female friends will serve the pancakes together with mead. As a sign of good luck to the bride, guests at the wedding carry the bride to a feather bed. Yeah. 
Ülürümükmaş TV, tadı toji, ülürümükmaş iyi koyar temji. Kart batırji, süyen batırji, tavak. Karşınızı muhaştıysa soğan, karşınızı ufalaştıysa bu mum. Kart batırji kendin, Julia'sıma kucaştıysa de çok ancağlı kumumuşta. Ülürüm kurtumaş diye unaş koştut. İzarnyan lütfutat bu kum geçe, yalkala kumaş konduştara tadı Julia aralat kodun. Bara süyen keçerin nandı, tuğur çiktimaş, rodu şu çuvlakın pagalımaş nandı, şovu çum sakalımaş tadı aralat kodun tavak. Çok ancağlı kum, üdürün bir tüsürünce koymanın tagilaştığını, ıslat tavak, çok ancağlı kumun kuşun tüsürünce tavak. Ну ик манаш мари сүйен аралап кодун. Ну потарта шапышты изи башталта шлакын пуртатынды. Башталта шлакын пурташты менен. At the conclusion of the wedding event, which can last up to 3 days, the bride's godparents will invite the bride and her mother to a reception at their house. Other wedding guests are also often invited. They often celebrate all night, following old wedding traditions and creating new ones. Beekeeping and wild honey are considered the national symbols of the Eastern Maris. It is a testament to beekeepers in the region that hive owners have been able to develop conditions for the sustainment of melliferous bees. Local climate and environmental conditions aid the beekeeper in producing fine honey. A pot of local honey is the best present to the host of the house where the guests celebrate. Like a swarm of bees, the Maris fly away from their motherland, but preserve their national traditions and rituals. <laughs>